Hello and welcome to another issue of my Eurocylinder exploration series. Today I would like to show you a Wilker lock. This Eurocylinder I received from a local locksmith and it was about 20 euro. It's brand new and I only got it or disassembled one side so that cutting becomes a little bit easier um, after I picked it. So uh, Wilka, the slogan is Vorsprung durch Qualität, which means something like advance by quality, is a German lock company that was founded in 1865. And I have no um, direct evidence, but I think the name Wilka um, comes from his founder, which, who, is, uh, or who was uh, Wilhelm uh, Karenbergs. And if you combine the three letters from his first name and the two letters from his last name, you get Wilke. So, it's a Wilke lock and when we look at the keyway, it looks a little bit like a Yale Y1 keyway, but if you compare it and look closely, so the Abus is a Yale Y1 keyway, you can see that the, uh, that the Wilke keyway is a little bit narrower and um, yeah so if you if you try to insert uh, a Yale Y1 key which is this Abus it won't fit and as it is um, yeah, as it is smaller it's actually a little bit more challenging to access the pins and to do that you have to have such kind of hook in order to um, get into those holes in the in the ledges. So there is a hole in the in the, in the right hand side ledge and in the left hand side, and you can't just use a jam. You wouldn't get the the depths, but you have to use some kind of hook like that in order to directly go in the hole and depress the pin. So that's a a different challenge that we didn't face until now. So now for the bidding. The bidding is quite good as you can see. We have a deep cut here in the beginning and some low cuts at the end. So this will be another challenge. Yeah, so much uh, for the introduction. Let me clamp it into a vise and try to pick it. So it's clamped up in a vise. Again, here is the key. Lock works very nice and smooth and is locked up. I apply tension from the pin side and use a saw sword deep hook. Okay, light tension. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Very light tension. Otherwise, all pins bind at the same time and you won't get anywhere. One was springy. One is still springy. So that was two. Now one is binding. One needs to be set very deep. It's a shallow cut on the key. I hope I got it. But I think two has dropped again. So maybe now one and two are no. a little bit awkward to work around the camera. But it's also a difficult pick. So two is set, one is set and I felt a little turn on the core. And I think I feel something binding in the back. Maybe I got it. You have to develop the right feel for the pins to, to be set through those holes. 
So you have to inject your your pick in the hole one by one ah, and got a false set one by one and yeah test every pin like that. It's not like with a jam that you can brush over the pins. So now we got a false set. Let's see. Yeah, it took me 30 or 40 minutes to pick it the first time until I figured out the binding order and so on. So now I'm on a pin that gives counter rotation and I think I got it. Ah. Need to find the next spool. <clears throat> yeah, here we are. And it's open. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. But really, you have to develop the right feel. From the three locks that I picked so far, the Ever and the Abus, I find this the um, yeah the most challenging. All right, so Wilka is a challenge to pick, but is also a challenge to cut. You can see that there is no clip around here. It's a it's a ring. It's a ring. It's an endless ring. And there is a special tool that can be used to um, get away or get off this, this clip, but I don't have this tool. So what I will do is I will use a saw and just cut this clip. And yeah, funny note, um, I bought a dimple pick set and there was this tool in the bag. And it's not a rake, it's a saw. And till now I had no use for this saw, but it's just like being made and it's um, very, yeah, it's very appropriate to get these uh, these rings off. Yeah, so let me uh, get the ring off and then we'll cut it. So here are the pins in this lock, look nice and shiny. The key pins are serrated on 1, 2 and 4 and all key pins are slightly tapered. The drivers are normal except of 3 and 4 which are very nice sharp spools. And if you look at the surface of the pins you can see that they are very nice flat, so no rounding at all look like high quality pins, very nice. All look like made from steel, so I have a magnet here to, to check. Oops. You can see that the spring is nicely attracted by the magnet. And also the, the pin so I think the springs are made from steel for sure and guess the, the pins as well. Yeah, that's the, that's the pinning. Ah, I have an interesting note regarding the key. You can see that this is a six pin or six cut key if you count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
but we we have only a, a five pin lock and you can see when you insert the key that it's uh, <laughs> way too long so this is uh, as it is as it was sold so I think they they just make uh, six cut keys keys for six pin locks no matter if they have a, a six pin uh, lock or five pin lock so it's a kind of cost saving measure only to produce one type of key <laughs> very interesting also you can see cost saving measure that for this cheap lock the um, anti-drill uh, holes are not populated so for the more expensive version of this lock I guess we have just uh, anti-drill hardened steel pins and then it costs some euro more okay um, let me quickly give you an inside view into the keyway hope this works so that you can see the holes a little bit better yeah this gives a nice view so you can see how nicely those pins are protected by the holes in the keyway and because of the extreme bidding that we have we really have to insert the pick individually into those holes all right okay that was the uh, Wilker lock picked got it and explored so thank you very much for watching happy picking bye bye